Hello everyone, I'm very excited to introduce you to the new K6 browser checks in synthetic monitoring. A fantastic new feature that's available in public preview in Grafana Cloud starting October 2024. I'm Vika and I'm a software engineer in the synthetics team here at Grafana Labs. So up until now, Grafana Cloud synthetic monitoring only supported tests at the protocol level. Now, using the power of K6 and the K6 browser module, you can create synthetic monitoring tests that interact with the real browser environment. This means you can control a headless Chrome browser using a K6 script to gather insights on web vitals, capture custom performance metrics, and simulate user actions like clicking buttons or filling out forms. So how does it work? Let's take a look now. We can create a new browser check by following the same process as we do with other checks in synthetic monitoring. So now we have this new create browser check button that we can click to get started. First, let's fill out the job name and the instance. And the next step is to uh, write the script that we want to be executed on every test run. Um, the check comes with an example script that we can use as a starting point. We could also choose one of the scripts from this examples list, or we can create one from scratch. So the script that we are using here logs in into a site. It also adds an assertion to make sure that the login works, and it performs a few other interactions like creating a new object in that site and then deleting it. Um, this script is also available in the documentation, so you might check it out there in detail if you are interested. And it's worth to mention that K6 browser tests are compatible with the Playwright API. So if you already know Playwright, browser synthetics are going to feel very familiar. And because browser synthetics are powered by K6, this script can also run in K6 command line interface, and you can also run it in Grafana Cloud K6. Okay, so let's, let's continue with the creation flow. Let's leave these fields in their default values for this demo. And finally, let's choose the prop location where we, run, we want it to be run from. Let's now save it. And as you can see, setting up the checks is pretty straightforward. Now we can analyze the results um, by taking a look at the dashboard that was generated for us. So in this dashboard, you will find all the metrics you need to assess your application's performance and user experience. So besides uptime and reachability, we also display web vitals information for page loading times, interactivity, and visual stability. We can also analyze the user journey by checking out this new metrics by URL table, where we display web vitals information for each of the URLs that were accessed during the test. And just like for scripted checks, we display all the assertions that were set in the test with all the, the information for that, the number of testing targets, duration by probe, which in our case was just Paris, information about data sent and received, and as well, a list of logs. So to dive deeper into this new feature, be sure to check out our What's New blog post and the official documentation on the Grafana Docs site. You will find script examples and detailed guidance to help you get started. So try it out for yourself and see how browser checks can enhance your monitoring capabilities. Thanks for watching.